get us together in oneness mission in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All no adoration be unto When we say
Union coming. Uh, you told us uh, the, the cream of uh, our gathering expectations if people are here to receive it. Thank you very much for that. I first have to thank everybody for coming out here. It shows really that we are all one as our next South Connect Foundation. We are one, one for all, all for one. As you can see, there are several we are multicultural nations. And all states, every state in Nigeria is represented here today. And it's a good thing. It shows we are heading towards unity. And the Oneness Foundation, that's for USA, was born or is in alliance with Oneness Bridge of Orphans and Less Privileged and Oneness Society of Single Parents. Our goal, after being in the United States for 23 years, I visit home almost every year. And what I have seen at home, a lot of it is heartbreaking. And the group of us got together, Diaspora USA, and we said, what can we do to help our nation? A lot of time, people are looking onto what the government can do for them. It's good, government has a lot of responsibilities. But we as a nation, we also have as a, a responsibility to help our government. And we decided that it is a very important project or program called Foster Care System. This system is, is a worldwide system. It's almost in every country around the world. In United States, foster care system started after World War II by a man named Charles Lauren Brace. And Charles Lauren Brace also started the orphan train. He took off the streets of New York City, 120,000 children, and he placed them around the nation. And that is what started foster care. When he died in 1890, his two sons took over the job. And when the two sons retired, the United States government took over foster care. And that is what we have today as foster care system. In South Australia, foster care started in 1866. United Kingdom foster care started in 1926. And even in India, foster care started in 1960, the year of our independence. In Ghana, it started in 2007. And out of 148 orphanages, so far Ghana has closed 14 orphanages. South Africa started it in 2000. And here we are, Nigeria, the giant of Africa. With 17.5 million orphans and vulnerable children in Nigeria, we are yet to start. And we, Diaspora USA, and all of you people here say it's about time that we start the foster care system. And a lot of people, we also have 25.5 million disabled Nigerians. And I want to say thank you to our legislatures. They've been able to pass the bill on Nigerians with disability. What we need now is the implementation process. And that is what the foster care system will do. That is what Oneness Foundation is bringing home. And a lot of people will say, what good will the foster care system do to us? And I will tell you something. Out of the 17.5 million orphans, let us take 7 million of the orphans. And we get them out of institutions. We place them with families. These children do not belong, belong, they don't belong in institutions, they belong with families, mm. home-like environment. If we can distribute two children to each and every one of us here, assuming we are 200 people here, we have created instantly 200, 400, no, if we are 200, we've created 100 jobs. So if we take 7 million out of the 17.5 million offers and place them with families, instantly we are creating 3.5 million jobs, foster parents, and that's not where it ends. These foster parents, they will be reimbursed with money to take care of those children. If we give them 10,000 for one child, that is 20,000 naira coming into the household. That is almost the minimum wage that we have in this country. Probably the, the salary of a police officer and several others. So we are saying it's going to create a lot of employment. And then we're going to have case workers, social workers, our sons and daughters, the youth that graduate from the universities, there are no jobs. It's only the doctors, the lawyers, and maybe the engineers that get jobs. And we are saying, what about those that read mass communication, sociology, psychology, uh, guidance and counseling, marketing, and a lot of others. We can train them to be caseworkers. And their job is to go back to the home 
we place those orphans and monitor them and make sure the people we are paying to care for them are doing what they're supposed to do. When these children need to be in school, they need to be in school. Their medical and their school fees will be taken care of by our foundation. And if the government come in and help us, it will create even more jobs. If you tell us you're going to feed these children rice and chicken for lunch, when the caseworker shows up at your door at lunchtime, the door of the foster parent, please don't let us see the children soaking gary. Mm. We want them to be eating rice and chicken because that's what we are paying for. And then again, their medical is covered by us, their school fees is covered by us, and when school is about to start, we prepare their, their school supply so that it helps everybody all around the nation. And our proposal is that we will build 96,000 group homes nationwide. Mm. Every local government in Nigeria will get their own. By the way, Nigeria has about 774 local, local governments yes. in the whole Nigeria. If we can build these group homes, these children, the amateurs, the orphans, the disabled, they will be in this home. That's exactly what we are saying. And then again, we have our senior citizens. The, the elderly. They can't do anything. An 80-year-old woman or man cannot do much. So we are asking for assisted living facilities where we can place our senior citizens and have caregivers go to work and take care of them. Give them a proper shower, cook their food, wash their clothes, clean their house. And after your, sh your shift, you will go home. Another person comes on. Take them out for them to play because what we discovered by our study was that our senior citizens are dying of isolation at home yeah. alone. Why all of us are here in Abuja or in Enugu or Kanu or Jos, our parents in the villages are dying of isolation. So we need a system change. That is why we are. That's why we are bringing the foster care system home. And by the way, somebody has to do it. A lot of people say, well, why do you have to get into this kind of work? And what I tell them is this. Thomas Jefferson of the United States was the man that made it possible for the eradication of slave trade. If not for him, some of us in the United States will not be free in that nation. Nelson Mandela suffered 27 years of hard labor in prison, fighting appetite. And that's why South Africa today is one of the greatest nations in Africa. And there's another woman named Mary Celeste, a British woman that lived all her life in Calabar. She fought against the killing of twins. That's why a lot of us today can showcase our twins, even have triplets. And we are saying somebody has to do this job. It's not an easy job. That is a noble job. Right. Those disabled orphans, their fellow Nigerians, they deserve to be treated with dignity. Most importantly, it will create the job that we so much need in this nation now. And when a nation is employed, crime will decrease. When crime decreases, foreign investors will start coming to Nigeria, and that is why we're going to have more employment. So, right, that is exactly what Oneness Foundation is doing. We're bringing home foster care system. And we are hoping that our government will accept it. We have a bill already drafted in the United States. We are copying the system of the United States. And we said to President Jonathan, if you are watching, Your Excellency, sir, we say to you, our reference is President Obama. Call him and ask him, will he ever stop the foster care system in the United States? No. And I can tell you, the answer he will give you is no, I won't. Capital, no, he won't. And you can call all the Western world presidents, Your Excellency, the time has come. Lawmakers of this nation, the time is now. We need the foster care system. We need our youth, 50 million youth in this nation. They are either unemployed or underemployed. And what do I mean by underemployed? It means they don't know where their next meal is coming from. It's about time we stop that. Through the foster care system, there will be massive job creation. As you can read from the flag, in one year, we are going to create 3.5 million jobs over that and more. And over 20 year period, we will create over 32 million jobs. It's a win-win situation for everybody. It's a nationwide program. Every state in this country is represented here. They traveled from far and wide. We've been working with them. They've worked the grassroots. We've been endorsed by three emirs in Zafara State. We've been endorsed by emir of Kanu, um, Sanusi, the former CBN governor. Uh, the education minister is our patron, Dr. Ibrahim Shikaru, and wife Halima Shikaru. 
is our patron, and several others will be endorsed by His Royal Highness right there in the United States, Ezekiel Unaji from Obowo. When we had our inauguration in Houston, Texas on the 18th of October, the ambassador of Nigeria, Tenele, flew from Atlanta to Houston. He was among us because this is a noble cause. And as today I ask all Nigerians, fellow Nigerians, you need to come in on this race. It's a beautiful race. It's a philanthropic race. It's a race that will take care of our children, take care of ourselves. When you leave a youth unemployed, what do you expect them to do? They will either go into crime. It's about time we begin to think about others, not about ourselves. So today, when I was home last year, a young man called Sunny met me and said, Madam, I went to computer school, but because of my disabilities, it's hard for me to make it to the cafe. And I can understand it's very difficult. So today, I promised him by bringing him a computer, so he will continue to do what he likes. And today, right so your computer that I promised you. Good. And I call him almost every month from the U.S. to let him know we won't disappoint him. You're welcome. We hope you, you will do good with this. Yes. I hope God continues to support oneness condition. Amen. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. And we have another laptop Sandra. for a young lady here. Yeah. Sandra, 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 Sandra. Sandra. No, no, that's my personal one. Where's the other laptop? Movement will be very difficult for her. You can tell she has problem with her lower extremities. But there's nothing wrong with her upper extremities. She can sit at the bank and walk. She can walk in the library. If we give her the assistive device that she needs, the resources that she needs, transportation that will help these people move around is very needed. This is our country and we must have to work together to fix it. I ask everybody here today to support this present administration and all our state governors, regardless of their party, oneness is not political, but we are one. Nigeria is one, and that's what we are about. So, Miss Sandra, I hope this computer will help you to do your work, and you don't have to travel far to get to the cafe. Thank you very much. God bless you. And uh, in, in a few months from now, we are going to have our national conference. A lot of people will return from all over, all over the world and Nigeria. And at that time, there are several wheelchairs will be given out. The wheelchairs are being shipped. It's a little bucket to carry them, and there will be more computers. So please, if you know anybody that needs these laptops, computers, wheelchairs, where is our national coordinator? I will need you to get the phone numbers of Oneness Foundation and give it to to her or give it to anybody in your state. We have state coordinators. Uh, this is our Kogi state coordinator. Niger. Niger. This is the national coordinator. Niger. Niger. That is Niger. 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 How are you? This is, uh, and that is our <laughs> national <laughs> deputy regional <laughs> director <laughs> for North Central. Yeah. That's yeah. our deputy yeah. national princess yeah. Julie Obi. Where is Hajia from Kano? Plateau State. Okay, this is the legal advisor from Plateau State. Hajia. Habib, come. This is our Abuja powerhouse. This is our Abuja powerhouse, Habib Yusuf. He's done a wonderful job. And this is our Taraba State. Taraba State. And this is our Kano State. And also our national director, logistics, uh, our national director for publicity protocol and media, Hajia Sefia from Kano State. And this is our national secretary, Alaji Abubakar. And right here, this is the bill that we have. We've drafted this bill. All we ask is for all senators to this bill, sponsor this bill. And together, let us create over 3.5 million jobs in one year and build 96,000 good homes nationwide. 
Thank you very much. If you have any questions, I will love you. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hey, yeah. my darling. <laughs> this is our national chief of mobilization, Hajia Larai from Zamfara State. And right here, we have the national director for real estate. Remember, we are going to build 96,000 group homes, Sauche Femen. And this is our national youth ambassador. He's a final year law student, John Ngene Ofia. And this is National Director for Agriculture from Kano State, Alaji Danjuma. And let me tell you something, we also have an agriculture program because before you can be a foster parent in the United States, you must have to be employed. So we created a small scale agriculture program. What that needs to do is we help them to farm whatever they get from their crops, they sell it and that's their income and we can qualify them to be foster parents. This is our federal capital territory, Hajia Nabila Yahaya. She is our mobilization officer right here in Abuja. She's done such a wonderful work. Thank you, Hajia. And this is uh, uh, Ms. Nugasi Dibia from Lagos State, our coordinator. And this is the secretary for Kogi State. As you can see, every nation is represented. And this is uh, Ms. Elizabeth, Mrs. Elizabeth from Abia State, our coordinator in Abia State. And this is Mrs. Musa from Ida PRO, Kogi State. And this is our secretary for Kano State. Excuse me. Habib Ila, as you can see. He's a woman of Laza. He's a dog fighter. Okay. And what is your name? Kogi State. Okay. Honorable Agnes is also supporting us, a strong member of Oneness Foundation. And this is the legal advisor from Kogi State. We have a bill. We need all the lawyers in every state in Oneness Foundation to join us. This is the medical director of Kogi State. And I also learned that the medical director of Kogi State is here. Where is he? Okay, this is our secretary from Sokoto State. Where is the medical director from Kano? Why do you know that is represented? So right now I can take questions. I introduce myself to you as honorable advocate, Mama. This is what we have been looking for. Wonderful. Because we have we have been suffering our the day of hypertension because of deaths here and there because of thinking. No jobs. You can see that there's somebody of age that can stay and be wealthy because of thinking here and there. You see that accidental death. Is anybody has questions? And this type of uh, association will come and die. But as you can see the happiness you have before you came, you can see that God is doing something in Nigeria. God has brought you safely. He's going to redeem us from, from suffering. Amen. Nigeria, in oneness, will be out of poverty. Amen. And we are assuring you by the special grace of God, you will live for long. Amen. Accidental death will never be your portion. Amen. Because in Nigeria, God will delete it, and this oneness, people will be surprised. Even what God made you to do at our presence today showed us that, yes, God is answering to the cries of the poor, of the needy, even those that you gave computers to, how they appreciate us, they are going with, can even make them to, to work. You know, God is performing this in a wonderful way, and you can see you are a God sent. God sent. So all of you, the coordinators, as you go, begin to pray. Before I let the national coordinator speak, and then the state coordinator, I would like to introduce our medical director from Kano State. I'm Dr. Hezu from Kano State. Actually, uh, you are most welcome, ma'am. 
Thank you. Actually, this, this is not the first time I'm doing this. I mean, something that concerns orphanage or orphans in Nigeria. I'm a friend of the home of the orphanage. I'm also disabled children in Kano State. I've been doing this job for many years. But coming of this foster home in Nigeria definitely will show us that Nigeria is one. Oneness for all, uh, all for one. So what we are saying now, Nigeria will go for foster care. Foster care means you take a child, as you said, foster the child, I mean, make the child educated, and the child will be definitely productive in life. And then Oneness Foundation will gonna foster this, uh, I mean, uh, bill so that this thing will go on by the grace of God. Welcome, ma. We are very, very most welcome. Thank welcome. You. Okay, now let me introduce to you our national. So, sorry, ma. I have something to just introduce my my, my statement. This is our, I mean, um, media man from Kano State. Wonderful. Yes. This, this is a deputy director and coordinator from Kano State. National director, Agri. Ahmed. Yes. Ahmed. Yes. Ahmed. She resides in River State and she is also here, Princess Julie Bobby. This is our Kogi coordinator, Dickiness Success Agatha. So let's start with the national director and all other directors who have something to say about their state. Oneness Foundation. Change we need. Yes, we can. Oneness Foundation. Change we need. I want to thank all of you who are here today to witness and see our global president around the Nigeria. I want to thank our hands and clap for Yes, our lovely golden mother. Yes, 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 yes. Please, I want to thank all of you for all your efforts in bringing Oneness Foundation to reality. If it is only me, I cannot do it. But with all of you, I think Oneness Foundation is moving on. And Nigeria needs a change, really. We need a change. And we need a foster care in Nigeria. I think so. Yes. Please. Thank you. Thank you all. And welcome our uh, global president. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Now, this is our deputy national. You have one or two words to say. Oneness Foundation. One for all. One for all. It's not just a vision. It has come to make some of us that I have this vision to come to into reality. What do I mean by that? Since 30 years ago, I've been a single parent for 21 years. I took me to know what the needy, the orphans want, and even the widows. On Christmas days, I kick out my local in the state in the local government. When the Wonders Foundation came to Nigeria, and they called me, and I told them that, are you sure that this Wonders Foundation is going to do something wonderful? Before I knew in the office there, I called my president, the law was not going. I now called the first president. And the, mass, the woman told me that this is the job of the women affairs, make sure that the whole of 
manages the Gogi State to come see the foster kids. And she promised me that I should go and put everything that I need to do the work. So when I leave here now, by the grace of God, I'm going to write a letter and follow it up. And by the grace of God, what else for the has come to say? Amen. And I want to tell you, every one of you should carry integrity. This is the vision that you will not be able to do back here. If you are not ready to have integrity, you can drop now. Because this thing is for the elite. It's not for you to go into your pocket. God will bless our president. We decree long life to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will live long. Amen. Your generations will not be strong. Because your lips will fly. Because you know what it is to be by The woman died and come back because of what they have done to the widows and the orphans. You are carrying your name. God Almighty will increase your years. Whenever they fight you, God will fight them in the top. In the name of Jesus. Amen. A final year law student right here at Abuja University. Uh, John, you have the floor. Yes. Uh, thank you all. As the office implies, yes. I am the National Youth uh, Ambassador for Oneness. Now, what we are saying is that this program has come at the right time in this country. The entire Nigerian youth, the entire Nigerian university students, the entire Nigerian students have decided to kill into oneness. As, as you know, one of the primary things oneness shall be doing for, for the Nigerian people is creating of jobs. And these jobs is only meant for the youth. Therefore, the youth are now called upon to come and they join oneness so that after your school you don't have to be roaming the street looking for something oneness has something already for you the entire nigerian youth please come our office address in this uh, August occasion, it is a beautiful thing that youths are looked into and orphans often, are uh, remembered in a, in a state where nobody was looking at them before. Oneness Foundation has come in to now cater for them, to give them a sense of belonging in the society. When one has a sense of belonging, it translates into a healthy environment because the, 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 the thoughts they have now is a positive one and it brings about well in the society. We thank our global president for this initiative and we know that as it has come, the, the government also are going to enable us to give us what we want by passing the bill so that foster home has will come to as it has come to stay in Nigeria, it will be a beneficial one for all. Thank you very much. My name is Rehabilitation Center, Motherless Babies Homes, and we have our, we need you, we need you, our certificates. We register for you, and we have endorsed, we have our endorsement in the first state, our AMS, endorsed our funds, our papers, our conditionals. So, we have achieved a good thing in Zafra State, and they're supposed to be oneness of foundation in Zafra State. They want more oneness foundation in Zafra State. And I'm happy today, this our mother has come from America, we welcome her, and we are much happy. She has a good mind, she's a wonderful woman, she's a special. We love her, and we, we are praying for God that God will help them for doing this. And we'll join them so that we move Oneness Foundation forward by the grace of God. Thank you. from I use this opportunity to thank our mother 
that makes the Rwandan Foundation real in other states. In other states, we are trying all the, to visit all the uh, motherless baby yeah. schools. One more. Motherless baby schools and uh, social people. Okay. Okay. The little problem we have is that we went to uh, uh, we went to uh, we have done that we went to uh, we let our face to register our uh, one day submission they say that our uh, Thank you very much. Thank you. And here in Deputy Coordinator Taraba Stevenson and Catherine Joseph Munich. I want to thank God for this um, for this organization. It's been a blessing. It's been a blessing. When I shared when I shared this vision with uh, with our ESCO members, they were so happy. We went round, we talked to few people, and they, they, in the first place they doubted. I told them to go into the website and check whatever is there. They should get back to me. And they said, this is real. And I want to thank God because we've been able to reach the orphanage homes, we've reached the man homes, we've gone to women affairs, and um, few other homes that have not been, you know, that have not come to nine lights. We've been able to reach out to them and they assured us that they would, guys, Women Affairs assured us that they would work with us and they really celebrated this NGO. I want to thank God for our president and I want to thank God for our vice president too because whenever I call, we actually had problem with in communication with you know with the people in Nigeria. That is the NGO schools in Nigeria. That is on the ones at the national level. Mostly, I call the vice president and he puts me through whatever you know they might have done ahead of us and all that. I want to thank God and I want to say we love you, man. Thank, thank you for bringing hope to you know to us in Nigeria and to Taraba State. Actually, the need is in Taraba State celebrated, it. and we are looking forward. Trusting God that we'll be able to, you know, do our own part as a state. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our state coordinator in Nigeria. Brief, 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 brief. I this opportunity to warmly welcome my mother. Oneness mother. You are welcome to Nigeria. Thank you. And thank you for bringing this program to Nigeria. We have a similar program, but yes, differences. This one took mother, it went extra mile. And I'm telling you that in now Nigerians are ready to accept this organization. In Niger State, I'm representing Niger State. Niger State is the power state. Immediately, I introduced this organization to people in Niger State, they accepted it. Even our governor's wife, our governor, the chief servant, Dr. Miles Ibrahim Angida, and his wife, our big mother, Mama Ji, Mama General, Aja Ajumayi, Miles Mabangida, she accepted it all at the time. She was so happy that this organization is coming to Nigeria and I'm bringing it to Niger State. As we were told, that we should go and make a project, organize a project. Niger State organized one project, which I gathered, I gathered the uh, less privileged, the aged, the widows, and the orphans. Yeah, about, the widows are about 105, and the other and the orphans are 90. The aged men that were there that day were about 20 of them. And I tried by all means to give them 
little things at least to celebrate for to use as a salad gift all the necessary assistance that I needed and from other people even my my the chief servants she assisted because she was not in she was not in country but she sent the little thing she can use in assisting me because she said program is a wonderful program mommy we thank you thank you thank you said, welcome thank you 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 they are well done. Mama, welcome. Thank you. You are highly welcome in the jail. Thank you very yeah, Thank much. you very much. Thank okay, you. and this concludes our interview for today. And uh, as uh, I did mention, most of the national directors are also coordinating some states. Even though she's the national, she's in charge of the southeast region, Dr. Moneke. And she also is a national coordinator, but she's in charge of the south-south region, Princess Julie. Even our coordinator in Bayasa State was having a little challenge. She traveled from River State to Bayasa to help out. That is what we do in Oneness Foundation. We help each other out. Thank you very much. Thank you. State, we actually have a representative in Oshu State, but most of the states are having difficulty when they get to the orphanage home. They are saying they cannot open the orphanage for them, they are not sure. It happened in Cross River State, the same problem in Bayasa, even in my home state of Imo State, they are having problems. And I don't know why it should be difficult for you to access your orphanages to be able to assess and know what is going on. And the only way we can really help or take this problem to the World Bank or international organizations, which we hope for them to fund us, is by knowing what the problems we have. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned that our funding source is the World Bank, USAID, the Clinton Foundation, Ford Foundation, and a host of others. So that's how we need to get funded. But if the government collaborate with us, the government of